When Subway got caught up in the controversy over using a chemical found in yoga mats in its bread, we heard that it was something fairly common in the food industry, but a new list is exposing hundreds of products, and that is hammering home that point today. John Huddy's live in Great Neck, Long Island, with more on what we've learned. And, John, it's not really great news. No, it isn't, Steve. And by the way, this is a chemical. It's called azadia carbotamide, azadia carbotamide, or ADA for short. It's usually a food additive and preservative, preservative used in breads. And I bet if you open your pantry, if any of our viewers go and open their pantry, it's probably in a lot of the products you have, in particular, a lot of breads, more than 500 products, according to uh, some lists that have come out. But the red flag about this is that it's also used, a chemical compound of it is used in rubber, in yoga mats, in the soles of shoes as well. So it's not exactly like you're eating a yoga mat, but it's a, a chemical compound of ADA is being used, as I said, as a food additive and preservative in breads and in dough as well. And some food manufacturers have stopped using it. Some restaurants, including Subway, have stopped using it in its breads. And obviously a lot of food watchdog groups, environmental groups, um, and online sites are calling for its use to be banned here in the U.S. The FDA approved the use in very small amounts of ADA, minuscule amounts, in, um, in food back in 1962, but it's banned in Europe and Australia. So there is basically a petition and a movement to get it banned here in the U.S. as well. Now, is it that dangerous? Well, for some people, it could be. It could cause respiratory problems. It could cause asthma, including children. We talked to a nutritionist, Lisa Cohn, about that. Here's what she said. Have a listen. Some people are more sensitive to chemistry in food and toxic substances. For example, children and newborns' mothers should be very, very keenly aware of what they're consuming because they are more sensitive. And, and she recommends, look, look on your label. If you have any concerns, look on the label of the food. Most, It's mostly used in breads. And I know offhand, Steve, I have in my pantry right now, I have a couple of items that this chemical is used in, azadia carbotamide, ADA. Small amounts of it is used, but it's also used, and this is a red flag, in yoga mats and other rubber products. So, again, a movement to try to get it banned here in the U.S. We'll see what happens with that. We're live here in Great Next, Steve. Back to you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how widespread it is. All right, John, thank you. So